We've waited for such a long time to hold this helmet in our hands and we're so happy that it's finally here. This is an all new tour modular helmet with modern features and specifications. This is the Schubert C5. The long awaited successor to the tried and tested C3 helmet. Well, at least if we just ignore the controversial C4. In this video, I'll be telling you everything about the newest top of the line helmet from Schubert. Off we go. Schubert brought out the original C4 helmet around four years ago. It was a promising update to the C3 that sadly did not deliver the performance that we'd hoped and expected. Maybe you will remember the pinlock incident. Schubert swapped the pinlock anti-fog lenses for their cheaper own creation and it didn't really work. There were many foggy visors that year, I can tell you that much. There was also an issue with the chin ventilation button which would fall off quite easily. These issues were all fixed with the release of the new C4 Pro, which was very much improved, but it still wasn't blowing us away. It is now time for a new flip-up helmet, and I'm so excited to present to you the new Schubert C5. A helmet designed from the ground up with many promising specifications and functions. Following is something you're going to hear me say quite a lot in the future, but the ECE 2206 certification is really one of the most important innovations in the land of helmets. Motorcycle helmets are tested according to stricter rules which raises the bar for helmet manufacturers. For example, they have added a rotational force test and tests with accessories such as a sun visor or integrated communication system. Great news for all of us bikers because this makes our helmets safer. You've probably already guessed it, but the Schubert C5 is one of the first high-end new helmets to feature this safety certification. Something that goes hand in hand with the new certification is the PJ homologation. You'll be able to lock the chin bar into place into the open position, allowing you to ride on public roads with this configuration. The C5 is actually the very first Schubert helmet with this option, although competitors such as the Shoei Neotech 2 and the Nolan N105 have already had this function for some years now. The outer shell of the helmet is made according to the direct fibre processing method, which is nothing new, but it is new that the fibreglass outer shell has now been reinforced with one layer of carbon fibre. Now this is good for the strength of the helmet, but it also helps keep the weight of the helmet down a little bit. The helmet weighs around 1640 grams in the smallest shell size, which is fine for this type of lid. Speaking of shell sizes, this helmet comes in two outer shell sizes, which I really don't understand for this price. I can't think of any other helmet in this price category that only comes in two shell sizes. And I really think that the next model should have at least three. The more shell sizes a helmet has, the smaller and lighter the helmet will be in smaller sizes. Makes sense. That's actually also better for the fit of the helmet, although I have to admit that this helmet does actually have a very good fit and shape, much more true to the C3 and more comfortable than the C4. The material feels soft and premium, so I wouldn't worry too much about comfort when choosing this helmet. The inner lining is now also much easier to remove, and it even has a function that allows you to seal off the ventilation holes on the inside of the shell, a kind of winter option if you like. There should be an interesting new concept coming out as well with this helmet. The system is called Schuberth Individual and it appears to be a sort of DIY custom fit system inspired by Shoei's extensive personal fitting system. What we know is that it will be possible to adjust the fit and shape of the helmet to your preference and head shape with additional pads. Everybody has a different head and with this system it will be possible for more riders to have a good, comfortable helmet to ride with. But we don't know exactly what it will cost you or how it will work. I'll have to owe you that information. I'll let you know when Schubert lets me know. We do know that the position of the chin strap has been improved and that there is a completely new neck roll at the bottom of the helmet. Schubert was once known for having the quietest helmets on the market until the Shoei Neotech 2 came along to steal their limelight, of course. The question now is how the new C5 is going to do in the way of blocking out wind noise and such. We will be looking into this into the future and letting you know. The C5 has an improved aerodynamic shell and really goes back to the core design of the extremely successful C3. 
Compared to the C4, the helmet seems to have gotten more compact again. I personally think this helmet looks like a combination between the Shoebuff C4 and the Nolan N105, which is quite a compliment as both of these lids are nice looking. Of course, the German helmet manufacturer has chosen to use a large visor with great viewing angles, which is very comfortable while riding. Their mistake to use a cheaper anti-fog lens has not been made again. This helmet comes with a Max Vision Pinlog 120 lens to prevent you from having a foggy visor. Another great new feature on the C5 helmet is the memory function system on the visor, which is a patented system, so don't go stealing it. It means that if you open the visor and then open the chin bar, that the visor will stay in the same place when you close the chin bar, so it remembers where it was, which is quite handy, but then again, it's not difficult to adjust the visor while riding. The ventilation on this helmet is much more extensive than on the C4, and I also think that all of the panels and sliders feel steadier, which is a very welcome improvement. There is now also a double air inlet on the chin, which directs air upwards along the visor, but also offers direct-to-mouth ventilation. The filter that filters the air is replaceable, and I've been told that it helps to battle new viruses. I'm not entirely sure about that. At the back of the helmet, we're seeing a large air outlet to allow the warm air to be sucked out in the vacuum area, keeping your head cool at all times. A very important feature for tour riders is the preparation for a communication system. And not just any system. The C5 features the most impressive integrated system that I've seen on any helmet so far. And as you may be familiar with from the C4 helmet, the C5 comes pre-installed with all kinds of speakers, antennas, wiring, you name it. The installation of the module itself is a walk in the park. A very short walk in the park. But it is a very serious module. The new Shubuff SC2 is based on the Senna 50S system, which means this helmet has the Mesh 2.0 system, and that's really cool, because it means you can have a group Mesh intercom conversation with up to 24 riders, and open Mesh intercom conversations with unlimited amount of riders. Talk time with this system will be about 8 hours when using the Mesh system, and around 12 hours for regular Bluetooth intercom. The control panel is now much easier to use and it's in a much more practical place on the helmet at the side instead of the back. The SC2 system also features voice control support for Siri and Google Assistant. The set comes with a boom microphone which I'm really happy to see. You can simply install it by clicking it into place at the side of the helmet like so. Much better than the small side mic used on the C4 Pro helmets as this microphone can be positioned directly in front of your mouth. It won't take you a minute to install this state-of-the-art communication module and microphone. Everything has been prepared, so it's a doddle. My hat goes off to you, Shubuff and Senna. Oh, I'm not wearing one. It's very obvious that Shubuff have put themselves back on the map with this up-to-date communication system and new helmet. We at Fortomoto are very impressed with what they have come up with and delivered, and we're excited to try out the helmet for ourselves. They're definitely making up for lost time, which is so necessary, and to be honest, quite overdue. The helmet costs a little bit more than the C4 Pro. For a solid colour, you're looking at €629, Euros, and for a design, you're going to be looking at €729. Euros. The SC2 communication system costs €349. Euros. Not exactly cheap, but you will be getting a legendary tour helmet with a lot of comfort in return. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe even learned something new today. Please do me a favour by clicking the thumbs up button and of course subscribing to our YouTube channel so that we can keep making this kind of content for you guys and you'll always have something to watch. You can find the new C5 and SC2 on our website fortomoto.com or in our stores. Come and see us to try the helmet on and to have a lovely cuppa or order it online. Thanks for watching again and see you next time. Cheerio.